all right so what is going on today youtube we are going back in with some zombies yes 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 now i did try to make a zodiac zombie version but with the new list it is pretty terrible um they're not actually it's, it's not terrible it's still a good deck it's just that uh what i was trying to do with the bujins and stuff it just does not work when you don't have um northern and stuff so as 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 for right now we're not going to be playing the deck so i just you know just strictly just built a a zombie appear kind of pure but you just with the brilliant fusion engine because that's clearly the best engine to play this deck with i uh, included some gozukis but um the more i play with it is not really it's, it's not really my style uh so probably um by next week I'll be, i will have a sure new zombie uh video um or a deck list or something like that because uh i'm not really i i really just love playing sure new zombies um, and even though it's not the most explosive, most powerful, best build to play, it's just so fucking fun for me. And I'm so used to it that, you know, I, everything else just feels unfamiliar. So as you can see, uh, just I mean, the extra deck is just whatever. Um, it's not really too much, <laughs> you know, you have to keep and stuff like that. Uh, Tornado Dragon is really good. Um, yeah, that card is very good. So without further ado, that's enough talking. Let's just get straight into the video. And before we start, I would like to say, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can't click an ad to help support the channel. So without further ado, let's hop straight in. And all right, here we go, folks, going up against uh, Strokop? Strokop? Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm just going to go with one of those. I think I'm, they believe it's Strokop or Strokop. One of those, and hopefully we do get to play, but it doesn't look like this man is going to connect, even though he beat me with the rock, paper, scissors. Oh, no, we do get to connect. He was just wondering uh, what he could do. Now, I, I, you can go double omega with this hand. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Um, oh, okay, we can go sage, tribute, summon Unizombie. Unizombie sends Gozuki to special summon this. Sync, uh, yeah, that is that is exactly how we do it. That's exactly how we do it. That, that is clearly a way to go uh, double. Um, yeah. I mean, we're going to have to do this regardless. Uh, we're going to discard that. That's going to trigger. Banish the Sage. We're going to special summon this. And then we can go Omega. And you can still just do this with Gozuki and, um, uh, Gozuki and Sage. Because... What you can do is you could um you're gonna you're gonna be able to get a a, a unizombie in the grave, so that's that's good. And then uh, no, you just you, all you need really is a Mizuki in the grave, and then with that is uh when you get done pretty much what you play is you're gonna pretty much end with a Mizuki in a graveyard, so that's pretty good. Um, so what's really good about this is even with Link summoning. Uh, you're still going to be able to do this combo because all you had to do was just, you know, we could just easily banish the Omega first. So you still would have had the same exact play. And now you know what we can do. What we can do is we could burial right now, right? We can actually Omega and then burial um, two cards. And uh, that would be a fun card. That would be fun to do. But you know what? I'm going to use this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this right in defense mode because when this dies um <clears throat> when this dies this can trigger again so that's what we're going to do because that seems like a very fun play and see if we were it's just if we were playing cheer news we probably could have had access to um what is his name we could have had access to a you know uh the trap card the swallow slash which i haven't played in a minute and i literally built a cheer new zombie deck and forgot that that was actually a card that's how much i have not been playing zombies like this I feel awful. I feel real. I feel real awful. But looks like we're going up against trains, and um, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a major problem because I don't. We don't run what's the name, so we can't. <laughs> we cannot get over his fucking monster. Um, yeah, we can't. I mean, unless no, we can't go over his monster. So what is his ads? Um, let me see. Okay, so that's uh, is that that's a cost, so that's not gonna work. You can oh no, never mind. It says sin, so it should trick. No, it shouldn't trigger because it's a cost, right? Yes, yeah, it, it it shouldn't trigger. Um, hopefully he does not get this off. Here we go with the Derek Cranes. 
Um, yeah, uh, there's, there's, it's going to be very hard. To, oh no, we missed it. God damn it. That hurts. That hurts so much. Actually, no, we can get over it. We can get over it. No, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't get over it. No, we can't. Um, yeah, there's not, there's not really too many ways we can. Oh, never mind. He went into this. Okay. We can get over this. This is something we could definitely get over. Um, let's see. He did trashes the Derek crane. So, um, I don't know if I want to take this much damage to be honest with you. So we're going to banish this to get, go ahead and get the unit zombie because we don't want to take too much damage. And he did the dumb thing. I don't understand why he must have a soul charge or something. No, he doesn't have a soul charge. I don't understand why he did that. If you went to that 3,200, that was it. We're not going to be able to get over it without like a strike or something or for like to bait it out. That was the only way we was going to be able to get over it. But uh, besides that, we weren't going to be able to do anything. So that is something that's cool that we can get, get over. So now with this, uh, we can actually just, yeah, we can do, <laughs> we can do a bunch of stuff with this. We just summon Gozuki, which is this the best card in the goddamn game. We can send this sage. And then we can use this to go ahead and get a Gozuki. I mean, get a Sage. And then we can use you. And go ahead and get the two star. And I don't even play Black Rose. That's how bad. <laughs> That's like literally how much I've like not played zombies in a minute. Like I, I literally don't even have what's the name. I don't even have. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have. Uh, actually, I should have went Crystal Wing. Um, I don't even have a, uh, what's the name? Uh, so what is it? That, that's exact game anyway. So that really doesn't matter. I believe it's exact game unless he has something in his hand. Yeah, that's exact game. That's 8,000. But like, we don't even have Black Rose in here. We don't have a Shogun Saga in here. We, <laughs> we don't have a lot of shit in here. And this is why I don't really like to play like this regular, you know, just not, not even, they're just brilliant zombies or something like that. That's why I don't like to play this. I like to play sheer news because they just give me more options to win. So here we go against Black Lion, and we have won the die row, but we did open up Double Omega, so that's cool. And we're not going to be able to open up Double Omega with this, but we can set that and be all right, man. One card off, just a go. Uh, a Gozuki could have got us there. Sage, Unizombie. What are you? Okay, Red Eyes, Metal Dragon. Okay, so that's cool. Go ahead and just let him attack. Let me see. What does it say? If an equip card is equipped for this, you can destroy one. You can destroy the equip card and then get a, then pop a spell and trap. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, so he can just uh, immediately trigger that. What's the name? All right. So we didn't get to draw it, but you know what we're going to go and go ahead and do. We're going to go ahead and go tornado dragon because I feel like tornado dragon is just a fantastic fucking card that we can easily, because he is playing the new red eye. So, we can definitely just pop his back row. And if he does try to set back row, we could just pop it anyways. So that's good. All right, what's going on here? Because as far as I know, nothing triggers. Oh, okay, that triggers Retro Dragon. All right, so that sucks. But you know what? That's cool. You know what? Blue Eyes got one. They got the Keeper of the Dragons. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, but it's cool. We have, a, we have a warning, and we have a Tornado Dragon in the Book of Moon. So if anything gets out of hand... We definitely have we definitely have a lot now. If we get twin twisted, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, you know what? I don't. Hmm, Book of Moon is a really good card, but Solemn Warning is even better. So we're gonna just go ahead and book him because he's only two thousand defense. That's the only reason we're booking him right now. If it was any higher, we definitely would have uh, hit him with the young Solemn Warning because Book of Moon we can still attack over it. So that's what makes Tornado Dragon even a better card is the fact that it's. It's 2100, and now my opponent can't set. So here we go. We can go ahead and just use the Gold Sark. And I am playing this card because we do play the Predator Plant Engine, and we can go Levier and stuff like that. So that would be cool. Got to watch out what I'm doing because I may accidentally click uh, Effect and then, we, I mean, activate, and then we're just, we're just in a lot of trouble. So <clears throat> we're starting off pretty good against Black Lion. All right, Red Eyes Insight. So I'm guessing he's going to go ahead and get... What's the name? And you know what? I'm not going to put on Ignore Chain because if I do, if he's a good player, he's going to realize like, okay, well, he's obviously got Ignore Chain on because this would, you know, try to at least attempt. So we're going to go ahead and negate this with our Solemn Warning. So that's a good thing that we did keep it. It's a good thing that we did keep it. 
so we get to warning this hopefully he does not have another one because it's un unlike zombies or sure news i'm gonna say they say you cannot i mean you can uh what's the name you can uh you can only activate one so that means if i negate it he can he can activate another one but like zombies you can only use this effect once per turn so it really doesn't matter and sadly this man had a dark hole this whole time but you know what i i agree i agree with that because pretty much he didn't really have oh my god another one fuck all right so i'm scared i i, I want to set and just wait but then again I, I don't oh fuck it we're gonna set and wait hopefully we don't lose hopefully we don't lose here folks oh man i feel like we're gonna lose i feel like we're gonna lose because we set I don't, there's not really too much we can do, but him holding the dark hole was good because as you've seen, he was trying to play, but I mean, easily leaving the 2100, I mean, leaving a tornado dragon on board is not good for anybody because then he can't set back row because I mean, he, he has to set three if, cause if he sets two, I can pop one on his turn and then during my draw phase, pop another one. And then it's like, if it's a strike or something, then it's pointless to use it. And I still have a 2100 beater. And I also, you have another retro dragon. That is crazy. He has the same exact two cards already in his hand. But good play by Black Lion. Hopefully he does not go into a dweller. Because going into a, wow, why are you putting, oh, okay. I think that he meant to activate this. No? Okay. Queen Dragon Dragoon. All right, so you do have that. That has to come in defense? No, can't attack this turn. Okay, that's the only thing. All right, so at least we can survive this, folks. We can survive it. And sadly, we don't. Ah, then I, yeah, I'm definitely just going to have to. I'm definitely going with what's the name sure news because now we can't attack. We can't. At, all right, never mind. We can't attack. We sure can attack because we have that. So what we're going to do is do this. Bam. Go ahead and get the sage. Um, with the sage, we're going to do this. And you know what? Um, oh, I fucked up just now. I fucked up badly. I thought I had a fucking what's the name in my hand. Okay, so that was a mess mistake. But hmm, I don't want to use this regeki. So what I'm going to do is, uh, hmm, I think we're going to go ahead and send Gozuki. We're going to go into a Scarlight because that's just a cool card to go into. I'm going to just burn him for a, a cool 2000. And then with this Mizuki, we can get back Gozuki. Use Gozuki's effect to dump the last Mizuki, which we probably did not need to do. We could have um, just dumped uh, the two star for next turn. And then we're going to get rid of this... Uh, we could at least do 3,000. But um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of uh, Soul Charge because I, I I really... You don't really need that card past the first turn. And I, I really feel like it's it's not that good of a card as it used to be because of the format and because of how fast decks move nowadays. You don't want to pay too much life points. I mean, unless you're playing like a combo deck that you can just build like three Omegas, a double Crystal Wing, and like five macro... I don't think Soul Charge is the greatest of cards as of right now. He's going to set a card. We're going to, why are you not activating this? I don't understand why he is not activating that card. But I guess we're going to go ahead and use the Regeki. Okay, he gets that off. Hopefully he does not have another Retro Dragon in his hand. I'm not tripping about that. And that's 58 plus 17. So that is 70, 75? Yeah, it should be 7,500. And that is game. So sadly, we have not. We have not done, done really too much anything. We haven't drawn Brilliant Fusion. We haven't drawn a Predator Plant. So it's just, it, this is, uh, I don't know, man. Shiri New Zombies are just, it's better than my eyes. I believe if we was playing Shiri New Zombies, we, we had game. Because we could have won Shogun Saga. We could have, uh, if we could have won Shogun Saga, that would have been 4,500. Yeah, this, this this game would have been completely over with uh with uh, regular zombies. All right, so how long was that? Fourteen minutes. We can get probably two more duels. Be right back. All right, so here we go with the third duel against Kung Fury, and let's see if we can open. All right, there we go. We have opened up actually really good. This is actually a fucking fantastic hand, and we have a gold shark, so that's even better. 
So what we're going to do here is that we have to, you know, we're going to get rid of this. I know what you're saying. Why are you getting rid of that? You're going to see. So we're going to do this to go ahead and grab us a brilliant fusion. And once again, I believe that uh, even with Western name, we can still do all these plays. So we're going to go to Seraph. Now we're going to send Trick Clown and we're going to send Garnet. All right. So here we go. I think we may get Triple Omega here. We may get Triple Omega here. We may get Triple Omega. So what I can do is, well, I have to, I have to do this now. We may get Triple Omega. I'm not too sure. Um, but you definitely always want to get the Sage Kraken. You definitely want to get the Sage Kraken. And this is why I really want to play Goblin Zombie. Because the extra normal summon is just so fucking good. And you can just get you can get a whole bunch of shit started. So he's only playing he's not playing the extra deck. So he's either playing uh he's either playing two Dracos or he's playing some type of burn deck. So I think I do want to leave a card in my hand. If uh, I don't know I don't know if I want to leave a card in my hand. That's the problem. So then we could uh, we can normal summon. Yeah, we can go triple omega. Yep, yes, we sure can. Um, we sure can go triple omega, and I think that's what we're gonna do here. Um, let's go ahead and go one omega with these two. Bam. Uh, actually, we can go void double omega, but I don't. Uh, triple. I think triple omega is better. I think triple omega may be a little better. Um, yeah, let's go triple omega. Go another omega. And then we can go one final Omega uh, with this right here. You know what? I, we don't need Triple Omega, to be honest with you. You know, we're going to go Void because I, I, I feel Void is really good. Now, if we were playing Bills, we'll definitely go Bills right here because it's it's clearly a good card to go into. But I feel Void is good. I mean, so we have a potential to get rid of at least three cards out of my opponent's hand. So... That's good. So we can negate at least one. So he's down to three. That's if he's not, you know, doesn't use the desires or anything. But if you start setting, I'm pretty sure he's playing, uh, what's the name? I'm pretty sure he is playing, uh, what is his name? Uh, two Dracos, uh, whatever it's called. Um, but hopefully he does not have too much of the greatest card. So I'm, I'm going to wait till the first card. It depends on what he does. If he sets first, um, okay. All right, so it's Monarchs. Okay, did not think it was to be Monarchs. Hmm. You know what? I think I do negate that. I think I do negate it. I'm going to negate it, and then I'm going to activate one of the Omegas. And let's see what he does. All right, got rid of a Majesty's Fiend. All right, so that's not going to do anything. Hopefully, does, oh, he's setting, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Wow, double Majesty's Fiend and a Kura, so it means his hand is not good. His hand cannot be good. If that's the, if that's what's going on, his hand cannot be good. He's double Majesty's Fiend and Kuras. All right, so he summons a... Oh, wow. He's going to be able to attack over this, huh? Wow, that's that's pretty good. And he's going to tribute and pop... It's probably, it's probably the face down and void. That would be the smartest thing to do, Cone Fury. To face down, and it depends on what deck he's playing, because he might just pop Kuraz in the back row. He might just do that. Let's see what he's going to do. But man, uh, all right, so now he just pops itself. Yes, I do want to draw. All right, now that's a good card to draw. All right, so let's see what we, oh, we drew it to a Gozuki. That's just amazing. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, shit. This is, <laughs> this is just basically whatever I want to do, huh? Let's just attack because I don't know what his back room may be. Uh, I'm going to be pissed if that's a mirror force. Um, okay. All right. So that's pretty good. Wait, what happens? Uh, activate only if you control negate the effects of all face on monsters on the field while those monsters are faced up. Okay. So I don't believe I can do anything. Yeah, I don't believe I can do anything. Um, his only out is a tenacity or a storm forth because he can't do anything. Oh well, that other card too, but that doesn't do anything. 
Um, either this is going to die or he drew the best card in his hand. GG Kung Fury. Good, good. Uh, I mean, Triple Omega. I mean, there's not really too much to say. All right, going up against Dark Kaiser would possibly be the last duel of the day. Uh, let's see. He's probably going to go scissors. There we go. All right, so we have won majority. And we have opened up once again. Just beautiful shit. Just beautiful shit right here. And I think this is another Triple Omega play. If I'm not mistaken, this is another Triple Omega play. Uh, let's go ahead and just discard the two-star. This should be another Triple Omega play. Actually, we're not going to go Triple Omega here. Because... We do have um, Solemn Strike, which is just a fantastic fucking card to have. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and send Trick Clown and a Garnet. <clears throat> Use this young man to go ahead and get back you. Can we? We probably can go Triple Omega. I, I just don't know how. We can do a... Actually, oh, no, we can't. We can't. Actually, no, we, we can do something. We can do something. It just all depends on what we draw. So what we're going to do, we're going to thin the deck out as much as possible. We're going to end pretty much with a plus one. We're going to end with a plus one. Where are you at? Where are you at, Omega? Let's go, Omega. Bam and bam. <laughs> then let's do you. Let's go ahead and get this. Matter of fact, we can go Triple Omega. What am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? I forgot that Mizuki is a card. <laughs> and it fucking goes. All right. So that's that's just Triple. So basically, this and a Sage is just Triple Omega. I, yep, that, uh, a Predator Plant Scorpio, and that is a Triple Omega. Wow. So I easily could have did that last turn without even using all the cards in my hand. That's crazy. I just sure didn't know that. That should tell you how much I play with this damn deck. That should tell you how much I've been playing with zombies ever since Link Summoning has been announced. Oh, wow, that's crazy. We can go triple Omega with two cards. Fuck, that's crazy. Well, technically three, but oh, I shouldn't have gone. I shouldn't have gone a third one. Yeah, we should go ahead and go uh, void. We should go ahead and definitely go void. Um, you don't really need to go triple Omega. Oh, wow, look at this board. That's crazy. I did not know that. To be honest with you, I did not know that. So technically three cards. Uh, I mean, it's two cards, but you just need an extra monster. So, and we're set up for next turn because we have the two star in the grave. That's just cool. We definitely need to throw bills. You know what? Maybe, maybe we might play this second hand. All right. So what are you going to, what are you targeting? Let's see what you target. If you target the, yeah. Okay. So I mean, it means you have something definitely good in your hand. So let's go ahead and just, yeah, let's activate one Omega. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can hit. Up, oh, damn it! <laughs> Fuck. Once we turn during the next time, if this card is banished, you can shovel the banish and banish one metal foes. Okay, metal fists. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. He must have like a left arm offering or something like that in his hand. Okay, him setting a card. I probably shouldn't do this. Okay, well, we ended off pretty decent. And you know what? Be right. And you know what? I might just have to go back. This is really dependent on you. If y'all want to see Sure New Zombies, we're going to do that next week. And we'll just tackle this uh, the next week after that. Because I did not know that this... Uh, I, I didn't I didn't know that. I'm, I'm comp I mean, technically it's a four-card combo. But um, you just need this, a Sage, and then a Monster. So, yeah, just it's te it, it is a two-card combo because you need these two. But then you just need two other cards in your hand, which are guaranteed in the first five. So... You can go Triple Omega Levier first turn with a Predator, a Scorpio, and a Sage. So, you know what? We might just have to throw in some Lone Fire Blossoms just to just go in with this deck and just see what we can do. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that. I had relative, I had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys uh, think of the video. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some replays of the week.